Hello guys, welcome back to Medical Coding Club. This is Chandrika. So today I am going to discuss about what is HCC coding, the HCC coding speciality information and also I have added a few interview questions. So many of my students you know will be keep coming and asking me about the interview questions regarding HCC speciality. As you all know HCC coding will have more job opportunities here in India. Okay so that will learn what is HCC coding and what is risk adjustment scores. Also, we'll see few basic uh, interview questions. Okay, so please do uh, watch video till end. And if you find the video is useful and informative, please do comment and please do share with your medical coding friends and ask them to subscribe to my channel. And you know, if you do support me well, so that I can come up with a different specialty of uh, interview questions like pathology coding interview questions, IPDRG, ENM coding, anesthesia coding, radiology coding. So I can come up with all other different specialty interview questions. So please make sure you are supporting me till the end. Thank you. So let's get in and learn what is important regarding HCC coding and we'll see few interview questions. So firstly, what is HCC coding? HCC stands for Hierarchical Condition Category. So this coding system used in risk adjustment primarily for Medicare Advantage plans. So mainly HCC coding is used for Medicare Advantage plan and it involves assigning a specific course to a patient medical diagnosis to reflect their overall health status. And these course help predict future healthcare cost based on the severity of the conditions. So what they do, keeping the patient uh, this year health record as a reference they will predict the next year healthcare cost okay so that is how hcc coding works so with this you should also be aware about hcc hierarchical condition category that means as the name itself says here they are saying hierarchical the meaning that they are ranked by severity okay so how if the while well, sequencing icds they will sequence first the more severe one and next the medium severe and the last they will keep the uh, lowest ok so here the severe condition will take the priority to be the primary diagnosis and with this we should also be you know aware about uh, how does it works like uh, what do the coders do so generally HCC coders will review the medical record and they will capture the ICD codes you know that whatever the captured HCC conditions or chronic conditions they have captured they will map with the HCC codes okay so later they will calculate the risk score calculation using the formula and they will be submitting for uh, you know they will be submitting to insurance okay so uh, as I said HCC coding will have a, a more job opportunities and if you are fresher and if you are entering to HCC coding, uh, you know, you can prefer CPC certification, but you are already, uh, uh, you know, doing HCC coding, but you are not yet certified, then you can go for uh, CRC certification, which is, you know, mainly for HCC coding. Okay. So let's see a few interview questions. Our first question, as we just discussed, what does HCC stand for in the context of medical coding? So you can check all options and do not get confused between option A and option C. So you should know HCC stands for hierarchical condition category, not hierarchical coding category. Okay, so the correct answer is option C. Next question, which organization primarily uses CMS HCC model for risk adjustment? So this is a CMS HCC is a payment model. So they will use for uh, which organization? So here it should be Medicare Advantage Plan. So in short, they will be calling it as MA. MA. Okay. So Medicare Advantage uses CMS HCC risk model okay next question what does RAF stands for in HCC coding 
so make sure whenever you are dealing with the abbreviations or acronyms you should be very clear and you should choose correctly so here RAF you can see the options risk analysis factor risk assessment factor risk adjustment factor and rate adjustment factor so which one will be the correct answer so the correct answer would be risk adjustment factor okay RAF stands for risk adjustment factor next question it is also in the same way RAC stands for okay RAC stands for recovery audit contractor recovery audit contractor so next next question the cms hcc model primarily targets which type of health plan i guess this question is repeated so the answer should be medicare advantage plans and next provider must report diagnosis that risk adjust at least how many times per year okay this is again one more important questions regarding provider specifications so they should at least report twice a year okay answer is twice they they must report twice you know in a year next the main goal of radv audits in relation to medicare advantage plan is so here radv audit takes place to ensure accurate risk adjustment data okay the answer is to ensure accurate risk adjustment data so next question the cms hcc systems operating period starts on which date cms hcc system so again operating period starts on first friday in march okay so march first friday they'll initiate cms hcc systems next question hcc category in v28 are based on which coding structure so as you all know hcc mapping is based on icd 10 cm icd 10 clinical modification and then how many hcc categories are there in hcc v28 so in 2023 there were changes in v24 to v28 in v28 how many hcc categories are there about 115 115 hcc categories are there in v28 answer is true okay whatever the uh, existing conditions you know chronic conditions are documented everything should be captured 15th question do not code diagnosis documented as probable suspected or questionable okay it's a general icd coding guideline also we should not code any conditions documented as probable suspected or questionable so answer is true true we cannot code probable suspected or questionable diagnosis next which of the following facilities are not covered for hcc okay so they are talking about skilled nursing facilities intermediate care facilities and hospice so the answer should be all of the above all of these uh, you know particular uh, following facilities will be not covered for hcc coding 17th question what is the formula used to calculate risk adjustment factor okay so the formula to calculate score is hcc score demographic factors plus interactions okay hcc score multiplies demographic factor and plus interactions and then what does H hhs hcc model primarily supports so this is one more model so we have seen cms hcc model this is different from cms this is hhs hcc model okay so this primarily supports affordable care act so short aca market place payments okay so affordable care act uh, you know is supported by 
HHS HCC payment model. So next, what does the HCC code for diabetes with chronic complications? So you should also be aware about the repeated or a common HCC uh, conditions. Okay, so here HCC code for diabetes with chronic complication is HCC 18. Okay, next, what is the HCC code for chronic kidney disease stage 5? So this answer should be option C, HCC 134, 134. So I guess that's all. So I have come up with the 20 questions and I have answered all. So I hope uh, you all like this video and find it informative. As I requested, please do comment and support me so that I can come up with all other different specialty coding interview questions. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share with your medical coding friends.